everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. Today's video is going to be just like the intro says, all about another wet crawl space. We have had so much rain here in North Carolina, especially in the um, triad area. A lot of us have had issues with roofs, issues with basements, issues with crawl spaces, and in homes that haven't had any problems historically, we're seeing some issues. So today we're gonna go down. We just had another bad rain. The ground is completely saturated from all the rain we've had. And we're just gonna look at what happened after that rain in one crawl space. Um, we're not gonna talk about all the fixes during the video because obviously um, I am underneath the house and it's wet and, and cold. But um, just so you know, if you call five people out to look at a dampness problem, whether it be severe or not so severe, you're probably going to get five different opinions. And that is a part of water that is very complicated for us in the real estate industry because we can call out some of the big brand companies that are national. They'll want to put in a system usually that involves trenching and plastic and sealing it up. Um, we call in a grader and he's, you know, he has kind of, I guess, the philosophy I tend to um, subscribe to, which is water just shouldn't be getting in there. We don't want to let it in and then pump it out or, or cover it up with plastic or anything like that. We want to fix the problem before it gets to the house. And that is without a doubt the um, my line of thought there. You always look at grading. You always look at downspouts. You always look at gutters, especially keep those gutters clean. There's so many things that cause water to come into a home and build up and just create havoc um, underneath the house. Some other things we're not gonna discuss too is why is it bad if water's just sitting on the dirt underneath your house, it's underneath the plastic, it's not hurting anything. Um, why is it an issue? And the biggest problem is what it does over time. As that water evaporates, as you know, we all, we all went to school, it, it goes into the air. And as it goes into the air out there, it can get into the lumber underneath the house. It can cause all kinds of mold, mildew. Um, we hate the M word. We try not to ever call it mold unless we bring an expert in. But sometimes in some cases, you know, you can't, you, you can't argue with, with a beautiful piece of fungus growing off of a timber. <laughs> but anyway, long story short, you can't let that sit there. Um, we just took an enormous amount of insulation out of several houses, I would say in the last month or so. What happens is when the water evaporates up into the flooring of the house, you have all that insulation under there. So this is, of course, I'm speaking of a crawl space. Um, that insulation is just like a beautiful sponge. That water just goes up into that insulation and that insulation just as heavy as can be. That's why in a lot of pictures you'll see the insulation dropping down. It's droopy. It looks like it's almost, um, it almost looks like it's fraying. It's not, it's not that. It's just, it's heavy. It's full of water and it just starts kind of pulling itself apart. So, You'll see, um, well, you won't see any of that today um, in this particular crawl space. There, none of that's going on. This is just rainstorm and how quickly water can accumulate um, so that everyone knows to take a look at your crawl space after any heavy rainstorm. Um, sorry about the clock. <laughs> Obviously, I'm in my home office. Um, but, but nonetheless, the... Uh, the other thing with, with regards to insulation and the wood is you can have what's called cupping in your hardwood floors. Every now and then I'll show a home that's on a crawl space and it could be a very old home and it, the hardwood floors kind of are doing this, we call it cupping, and it's just where too much moisture has gotten into that wood. Sometimes it happened at construction, sometimes it happened later, but usually once they settle down, they stay down. But anytime you see cupping, anytime you see things like that, you can definitely um, usually assume that the moisture at some point was too heavy in that wood. Either, like I said, before install, they didn't let it dry out effectively, or up underneath the house, um, it happened before it settled in good. But anyway, I hope you find it helpful. I hope that all of you will please pay attention to the content in these videos that I'm putting out. This is ridiculously important for the long-term monetary gains you'll make on your home when you go to sell it. This is just general maintenance. We all take our cars in. We all take great care of our cars, have the old, well, most of us do. I actually don't. 
but um, you should always have your oil check. Just treat your house like your car. Um, get out there and, and look underneath it. Call somebody, call us for crying out loud. If you don't wanna go um, underneath your home, we'll go underneath your home um, and look at it for you and bring back pictures and you don't even have to get wet and cold, but, um, but you do need to treat your home as you would your vehicle. Give it the proper maintenance that it needs um, but do pay attention to this, and if you have questions, all my information is below. Feel free to call. Thanks, as always, for watching. Okay, so now we're down in another crawl space, and we're going to take a look. So we've had a lot of rain, as we discussed. It's been very wet. It's actually been an incredibly wet summer period, but now we've rolled into the winter months, and um, it's November, and we are just still getting lots of rain. So most people are worried about their roofs when it rains and, you know, just the normal stuff, gutters, this, that, and the other. And they look, they tend to look up. Um, as a real estate agent, I have learned through the years that when we have a lot of rain, especially a significant amount of rain that might, um, it might be more than the dirt around the house or the grading around the house can really handle then you really need to look down not up so um, we're in this crawl space and we're going to kind of take a look around and let you see what just one really bad rain can do when the ground is saturated so um, enjoy i'm going to tour the entire crawl space you'll see how the high spots tend to stay a little bit drier the low spots just like in your yard accumulate the puddles of water and you'll see how grading and your crawl space makes an enormous difference in how just having an exit pipe and we'll go into that in another video mainly just be aware if it's raining a lot you probably need to go down into your crawl space and take a look around i hope that you enjoy this and we're going to flip this camera around and um see let you see what i'm seeing okay so this is a low spot right by the air conditioning which tends to either be built up or low. And you can see how this air conditioning was actually built up here on blocks and it's high and dry, but the area in front of it where the dirt was most likely excavated from is wet as can be. And the plastic is very wet. Um, there's water underneath the plastic. So even though you don't see the standing water, there is water there come on around here you can see lots of water on this side again we're just right here at the center of this crawl space um, but I'm gonna shine a light I'm gonna go on back there so you can see this really well this is a very large home but you see you have standing water here can you see that I hope and then we have it back here in the way back Again, better lighting and you can see what I'm seeing but the, anywhere that there is low grade there's standing water and the only way for me to really go back here and show you this water is for me to get soaking wet <laughs> so um, I'm not gonna do that but I am holding up a flashlight that I hope is giving you a little bit more of a view but all of that plastic is underwater and all of this right here beside me this is all just completely wet and again this is a big crawl space so to be fair um the house is is quite large but and there isn't any water up here in the high spots it's just back here in these lower areas that there's quite a bit so hope you can see it um, just always remember guys go down underneath your house take a look around when it rains again there's water throughout this entire home right to left if you look if you can see i know you i know you're trying but you need better lighting anyway hope that was helpful and again remember guys always take care of underneath your house okay so now you've seen all the water 
And it is, it, 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 there was quite a bit under there. Unfortunately, due to the light, you couldn't see it as well as I could. Um, and I apologize for that. I should have taken um, better lighting with me. But that being said, the what you would do if you were to call five people out to look at that particular crawl space you would probably get five different opinions i tend to subscribe to more of a graders type opinion which is the water shouldn't be getting underneath the house anyway you need to keep it away from the house you don't need to put in sump pumps and drainage things and all of this stuff to collect it let's let's look at what's going on outside of the home and see if it can be repaired now that said sometimes you do have to trench you have to do things like that and you do frequently have to put in a sump pump it's nice see it all the time in properties and it's perfectly fine but at some point in time the home was probably dry so you just want to figure out what's going on on the outside of the property that has created it to be wet is it a gutter is it poor grading have you let the bushes around your house um, have you replaced them and let that um, dirt settle in a lot of times we see that around the foundations of homes the bushes that are planted when the home is first construction constructed create huge root balls people pull those out uh, as the years go by and that dirt just starts compacting there and you almost get a trench up beside your home which is the last place you want you always want the dirt to flow away from your home um, and I'll give you the statistics on that in another video so that you know exactly what the fall is supposed to be. I can't remember that off the top of my head. But that being said, that's one thing that you always look for. Another thing that causes problems is just during construction in the formation of the footers, all of the dirt is disturbed up against the home, greatly disturbed, and then it's pushed back. It's supposed to be done in a manner that doesn't allow it to settle and cause these problems, but frequently it's just not done properly. So 90% of the time the settling is just caused from the dirt being pushed back and it's just settled with time as the home's aged. So anyway, I hope that you will just take away some of the fixes. If, you're, if your insulation is wet, it needs to come out. Insulation is not a product that General, I rarely ever see that it would dry. So you would take that insulation out, get everything up under there dry, and then fix the problem and start all over again with new fresh insulation. Um, one thing that, that people, like I said, people will ask, what does the water matter? Why, why does it matter if it's under there? The insulation is a really good example. Your insulation, if you see it hanging and droopy, it's absorbed a ton of water. That doesn't just happen. Insulation is normally would never come apart. It's gotten too wet, too damp, and that moisture has made it heavy and it just starts sagging and kind of fraying. So if you see fraying insulation, that's a pretty big red flag that something caused that. And usually that would be water also. Uh, you don't want your, woods, your wood underneath the house to get damp. It can start growing mildew, mold, all kinds of fungus and gross stuff. You don't want that to happen and you definitely don't want the wood to get to a point that it has started deteriorating and needs to be replaced. Um, at any rate, I hope that you found this video helpful. If you want someone like me to go up underneath your house and take a look at it for you, I always have my overalls in the back of my car and I'm happy to look at your home if you feel like you might have a problem and happy to give you lots of folks that have helped us through the years get under there and fix it for you. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much as always for watching. Thanks everyone for joining us. Today's video is about crawl spaces. I know we've shown, uh, shot a couple of videos regarding crawl spaces. Oh my gosh, so now you just met my little doggy Annie. <laughs> oh my goodness, I waited and we just had another, whoops, drop the camera. <laughs>